Welcome to EHJ Today in Chicago at the annual meeting of the American Heart Association. I'm Filippo Crea, Associate Editor of the European Heart Journal, and I'm sitting here with Professor Shimada, who has just presented a very interesting trial of aspirin in primary prevention in uh, elderly patients in Japan. Mm -hmm. Professor Shimada, can you tell more about the rationale of this study? Why one more trial on aspirin? Okay, <laughs> good afternoon. Um, uh, as you know, it is uh, well established that uh, aspirin is very effective for secondary prevention, uh, namely the, uh, for the pa uh, patients with cardiovascular disease. However, it is uh, hotly debated uh, whether aspirin is uh, truly effective for uh, the subject without cardiovascular disease. So uh, we, uh, to determine the whether aspirin is uh, good for, or, uh, as a primary prevention uh, for the elderly patients with uh, multiple risk factors and uh, those who did, 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 do not have a cardiovascular disease yet. So the risk factor we uh, cho chose is uh, hypertension uh, or dyslipidemia or diabetes mellitus. So a patient has uh, one or more uh, risk factors. Mm -hmm. And how did you make your power calculation? What was the expected rate of events? Okay, uh, we calculated uh, based on the literature, uh, aspirin may reduce uh, by 20% uh, cardiovascular event. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sample size estimate, estimated sample size was uh, approximately 15,000 patients uh, with a uh, power of 80%. So it's a very huge uh, 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 trial, and uh, we, <coughs> the primary care physicians all nationwide, 1,007 clinics uh, participated in this uh, trial in Japan. Can you summarize the main results of your trial? Okay, uh, the primary endpoint is a uh, hard endpoint, cardiovascular death and non-fatal myocardial infarction and no heter stroke. And as a second end point, uh, in addition to the primary end points, uh, the uh, angina pectoris, TIA, or uh, vascular surgery, or vascular intervention, and also as a safety concerns, uh, the extracranial uh, bleeding. So, um, uh, what did you find? Okay, uh, we followed up uh, five to six years. Uh, median follow up is uh, uh, about uh, five years. Okay, and the pra composite uh, primary endpoint, which comprises uh, death, cardiovascular death, and no heart MI and no heart stroke, was uh, quite similar between the two groups. The no significant difference. And the hazard ratio is uh, was uh, 0.94, therefore insignificant 6% six per six reduction in primary endpoint events was observed. Uh, What's about the secondary endpoint? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, as a secondary endpoint, uh, myocard myocardial infarction, no fatal, uh, was uh, reduced uh, by 47%. Uh, significantly. Also, uh, the TIA uh, significantly reduced uh, by 43%. And uh, conversely, the extracranial hemorrhage, um, mainly uh, gastrointestinal adverse events, was increased significantly by 85%. So, you know, there's, there's a benefit and the risks are counterbalanced mm -hmm. in this situation. And the main outcome was uh, only 6% uh, reduction and not insignificant. That's the main, uh, uh, main result. So now the message is becoming clear because in all this primary prevention trial, in high-risk patients, in patients with peripheral artery disease, in diabetic patients, and now in the elderly, 
the message is very coherent. Aspirin in, pre in primary prevention doesn't work because the risk of bleeding is equal to the small benefits on ischemic events. Mm -hmm. So this is your conclusion from your study? Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, the uh, the event rate was uh, uh, lower than anticipated. You know, uh, we thought um, more <laughs> the events will get will be gotten, but uh, you know, the, uh, no, now recently the patients are treated very well. So uh, antihypertensive agents, uh, statins, uh, all of the things, uh, and also Japanese is uh, very <laughs> healthy. You know. <laughs> the, Good uh, genes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the, uh, as, as a matter of fact, uh, in the REACH registry study, you know, the, uh, REACH registry study, uh, international registry, sh sh showed that uh, the strong strong factor to avoid cardiovascular disease is to be a Japanese. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good, good point. Yeah. Uh, so the message is really now become very clear. And also this, uh, this observation that uh, expected events uh, are, are more than real events is something which happened in other trials before. So this is also a lesson for the future. We have to perhaps to recalibrate power calculation based on a better estimate of uh, event rates. Yeah. And also, you know, uh, from now on, uh, we have to identify the population who is, who, ben who may benefit with aspirin most, you know. Uh, the, uh, it is uh, clear that uh, aspirin is effective in vascular accidents. However, if the risk is very low, it's a uh, uh, it can not be by the risk of bleeding. Yeah. Also, we have to find out the exact <laughs> exact population. Uh, well, but your population was a high risk population, elderly right. and with multiple that's risk what, factors. That's what we, we thought expected uh, initially, <laughs> however, it turns out that uh, not so high, you know. So. Uh, the, uh, we uh, we also uh, estimate is subgroup analysis. You know, uh, the we uh, stratify the risk in, in this population, but uh, aspirin did not uh, uh, was not effective for even in the high high the group at the higher risk. Yeah. Well, now we know that aspirin. Uh, is able to prevent colorectal cancer yeah, in right. high-risk patients. Yeah. And perhaps this is the population to target, patients at high risk for, for colorectal cancer and patients at high risk for ischemic events. Perhaps this population with double risk of colorectal cancer and uh, ischemic events can be the ideal candidate yeah. for aspirin in primary prevention. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, this study was studied, uh, studied at uh, 2005, and at that time, you know, the cancer story is not so popular, so it's coming up now. <laughs> right, coming up now. But uh, uh, we have a data of cancer. Uh, we have uh, uh, cancer incidence of total 700, over 700, and colorectal cancer, uh, more than 100 col colorectal cancer incidence, so we, we have to analyze you know, uh, the in relation to treat, uh, aspirin treatment. Okay, well, thank you. This is a very interesting study. It's another tile to the puzzle. Now we know that aspirin doesn't work in right. primary prevention, perhaps with the exception of patients with risk as well of colorectal yeah, cancer. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>